Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and this is What's in the Bag Player Edition Part 2, Video 2 for What for Sticks. Um, I didn't realize how long it would be to do to talk about all these, and after like 15 minutes, I figured it was time to break up the video. So, I broke it up. So, if you guys had any very keen eyed viewers, you would have noticed the lone uh, left handed shot stick in the collection. And that is because it is an STX prototype. Now, this stick was sent to Matt Molson. Come on, can you focus on that? So, there you go. So, this stick was sent to Matt Molson. Has an interesting tacky grip. Not a huge fan of it. That's what it is. And here's the blade with his signature. Very nice. And we'll take a look at the blade really quick. Now, I can't really talk much about this because I haven't used it because it's a left handed shot and I'm obviously right handed. So, there is the blade. So you can see a little bit. I'll try the other side. Anyways, so this stick, the reason I got this stick, I uh, was at a mod squad uh, get together for equipment to get meat and stuff. And they have, uh, they have ice time where you play with everyone and you get to use some equipment that's not out yet or you get to use equipment. And um, I got a chance to, or STX brought their gear there. And I got a chance to use the surgeon, the very first surgeon, which I really liked. And then they were giving away these prototype sticks as promotional items if you sent a picture on Instagram with it. Now, I didn't have Instagram at the time. So the whole reason I have Instagram, if you go back to the very first post, you should see the stick. And that's why I actually have Instagram or why I created it at that time. Um, so anyways, that's about it for that stick. There's not much to it. It's a collectible for me. I just kind of keep it around the, the house and don't really do anything with it, but pick it up once in a while. And so that's it for that one. Now, we are going to look at this Warrior AK-27 100 Flex with Savard. Now this is one of my favorite sticks, but kind of for all the wrong reasons. Now, I felt one of these sticks at a sport check when I was just shopping around there, and I absolutely love the grip. It has that Warrior Velvet grip, and it's one of the nicest feeling grit sticks I've ever felt. So I was looking for one, looking for one, couldn't find one for a while. And then this popped up for like $60 on a website. I can't remember what site it was, sorry. And I decided to grab it just because I wanted this grip and I wanted to see how it was. And I really, really like the grip. Not a big fan of the stick. I have no shot with it. I don't know if it's because the mid kick or because it's a hunter flex, but this hunter flex feels way stiffer than the two DT1 hunter flexes and even my QRL hunter flex. So this one was just a mess. I also tried a bigger knob with the tacky Mac. It's not the goalie knob, it's just the, the bigger knob and I didn't like that either. So that was the last time I did that. Um, but the stick itself for the grip is awesome. I really like it. The graphics are kind of mediocre to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of them. Um, but I do, I do like the blade because it's exposed. But besides that, not a big fan. It's still like my favorite stick just grab around the house because of the grip and actually just sits in my room and like grabs things under cupboards or dressers now if like something rolls underneath. But that's about it for this one. Sorry that wasn't long. I used it probably four or five times. Just absolutely hated it. So next we're going on to... Okay, stay there. Not that one. Next we got... The Verbero Vara Pro Stick. Now, I can't remember where the details are. I think the flex and everything is up here. So unfortunately, I can't tell you what it is. But if I remember, it's 87, and it's just, I, I told them to give me whatever they wanted to for the curve. I think it's like a cane. I'm not, po sorry. I think it's a cane, I'm not positive. Um, let's check, check down here. Take a look at it. Here's the curve. Second. And also, 
I did not review the ST1, so the DT1 ST, and I didn't review the AK27 because I didn't use them enough and there was no real point at the time. Um, but mostly because I didn't use them enough, I couldn't comment on it. So this stick, uh, Roberto sent me this stick along with a pair of gloves. And the gloves have gotten, the glove review got a lot of attention because it wasn't positive. Uh, but this stick didn't for some reason. Um, now, personally, I like the graphics of it. I like the plaid. I thought that was a nice touch that they had. Uh, the logo really stood out, so that was nice. The rest of the graphics are awful. Uh, and the fact that they're just painted black. Like, I would have liked to see the actual uh, carbon on it. And now, so with this stick, it's light. It is very light. It is, or at least it feels very light. I can't remember off the top of my head. You can check the review, it'll have it on there. Uh, my problem with this stick is when playing with it, it always felt like it had no blade. So it always felt like I was playing with a shaft and the blade just kind of sat there. Now the other thing about this stick, it's not paint. It's just like a sticker. Come on, focus on that. And it chips off pretty good. Um, and then we get to the bottom, that's where I had huge problems. So as you can see, there's a big, <laughs> like it's the blade split in two and it's all falling apart. And if this, like I can stab myself with this, it's so bad. Uh, it's, this blade lasted me like 15 games and my shot with it from day one was awful. Um, it was just, it, I did not enjoy this stick at all. I gave it to a couple other people and the response was, wow, the blade is really short. And I, so I can't use it, which actually happened to a couple people. And the other was, this, it's like it's light, but that's about it. Uh, I did not like this stick at all. I didn't think it was worth, I think there's 180 at the time. I don't think it's worth $60 personally. Maybe for the lightness, but I think you can buy it, find like better clearance sticks for that. I like True's 5.2s, I think are much better. Um, which might be like 20 bucks more if you get them on super clearance. But anyways, yeah, I was not a fan of this stick at all. Uh, I did write a review, didn't film a review. I just wrote one. So if you want to know more, check that out. But that's about it for this one. Um, also, this stick made me think that I couldn't shoot with mid kicks. And I kind of thought that for a while. And then I tried a Warrior HD1 and I could shoot with it. So I realized that it wasn't me being awful with this. It was the stick as well. All right, so next. So you'll notice some weird things about this stick in the sense that it has no tape or tacky mac and it has no tape on the blade. Ooh, that white doesn't really show up well. Okay, anyways, so the re this stick is an Easton Mako, as you can see. And the reason, uh, what is it? it's a Ginla 85. Um, the reason I have this stick, or the reason it's not taped, is because Sport Check was having a big sale on one of these, and I got it for like $70. And since I loved the RS so much, it was my first stick, I really liked Mako's just because they were white. I liked the graphic. I really, really, really liked the graphic. Um, also, Ed, yeah, sorry, I really, really liked the graphic. Don't know this will show up, but this is kind of like a speckled paint on like the orange. I really like that as well. And I didn't need a new stick when I bought this, but I bought it because I wanted the, like the two sticks at the time. So the RS and this one, and I always liked the color and that was the only reason. So it just sits in my room as well. Like I love, I just really love the details, like the Mako on the bottom. There we go. I really like that detailing. And just like the gray parts at the very top of the stick. So if I can get that out of the light. There you go. And just that. Also, I realized I kind of forgot to talk about the grips on some of these. So the Mako is gripless. It's a matte finish. The Verbero is a gloss finish. Um, which those are the only ones I forgot about. Actually, the Windwell 2 was just a gloss. I wasn't a fan of. All right. So next, we're going to the Wrecker. So I tried the EK-15 out at mods, at a Mod Squad event, and I liked it. I thought it was a very good stick, and I was interested in more. Luckily, I got, uh, Sherwood sent me this EK-60, 
uh, because of Berto on or Thinking Jack on Proclaimed Hockey Equipment uh, on Facebook, also known as Few. Um, so thank you for them for that. This is an 85 Flex Stastny. Let's see if this was up there. Stastny, there we go. And I really love the graphics on this. I really love the bare carbon all throughout with just little details. This is a matte finish with no grip. Uh, you can see a ton of paint marks on this. I use this stick more than I've used any other stick before, and I just love it. Well, I loved it at the time. It's still a good stick. I have, like, as you can see, all the paints going away on it. And there's the blade. I really, really, really like the blade. It's held up pretty well, um, where it feels like it's on day one. So I had some interesting things with this stick in terms of, actually you can see a huge chunk of it right there, but I haven't had any actually issues with performance versus like with this versus when I bought it or when I got it the first day, sorry. Um, so my one issue with this stick is when I got it, I put an extension in it to make it equal the uh, DT1 and when I did that, it completely screwed up the flex of the stick. And by that, I mean I was flubbing everything. Slap shots, wrist shots, absolutely everything. There's the curve. And I couldn't figure out why, and I eventually put it together with, it's gotta be this extension. And I guess it was with where my top hand placement was, but it was just screwing up the kick of the stick. This is supposed to be a low kick stick, and I don't think it's as low as like the RS or the DT1 or things with big tapers. Um, but it, it's a lower than their other. Sorry, yeah, I took that extension out and I got much better with it. I, re I really love the blade, which is the V, I can't remember right now the name of it. It's in the review, check out the review for if you're interested. And my basically the summary of this stick for review was it has a high ceiling. So if you're a good shooter, this stick will could work for you. Um, I found that majority of my shots weren't as good as I wanted them to be. So when I took a shot from the point or a quick shot like that, if I didn't get it perfect, it wasn't a, like a, it didn't feel like it was a quick release hard shot. Whereas like the QRL, the DT1, the trigger especially, if I screw up a shot, it still works. Like, and it still feels like it comes off hard. This one, I, I like to link it to pro player golf irons. Like the, uh, I can't remember what they're called right now like the forged irons that are have no big cavities in the back where you have to be a good golfer to use them. And if you are, they will be very good for you. Whereas the other sticks, I think of them more as game improvement irons where you can screw up, but they'll kind of help you a bit. So this stick's balance was awesome. I love the really firm pingy uh, blade and I'm happy that I should be getting a uh, BPM 90 from Sherwood again, so thank you for that which has the same blade, which I absolutely love. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, as you can see, the extension still in there, which kind of sucks because this was the lightest stick on the market at like under 400 grams. And no, I just, I couldn't get the extension out that I put in the whole thing, so I had to cut it off. So the one thing, I'm not a huge fan of the curve. I'm happy with the new BPM that I'm getting a Lindstrom so I can go back to my heel curve, but the stats needs a little too much for me. Um, I, and they didn't offer heel when I grabbed this. Now this one, because it is kind of more of a matte finish, I was okay with it. If it was a gloss, I would have gone with a grip because the grip on these is a grip, a gloss grip and not like a matte grip. So that's the other thing. So anyways, we'll move on from that. I do really, like I said, I really like the graphics so that. It looks great. And next we got the Warrior QRL. Backstrom, Hunter Flex, WO3, grip. And this has the cool texturing on it. I think it's pretty interesting. So uh, there isn't a review out for this one yet, but there's an initial review, which is actually really close to what this review will be. I will get the review out very shortly. I'm working on things. I'm sorry that one was delayed. Uh, it my fault totally. I did the glove review and I wanted more time with this and just didn't get around to it. Um, so this stick is the, my second favorite stick I've ever used. Um, I like the graphics. I think they look really good. I like how the Warrior lettering is 
surrounded by color. So it's the negative space you use for the W, like the, the wording. The only thing is I really wish the Pro, the QRL Pro uh, stick has actual exposed carbon throughout the entire stick. I wish that was the case on this. I think it looks better. But anyways, so this is the QRL. I love the bottom details. I love that exposed carbon. I like the pingy blade on this stick. Very good too, very much too, sorry. Um, this is all just bubble, like there's no damage here. The blade feels like it was the first time I used it, which is great. The stick hasn't broken down yet. I used this for like four or five months or six months. And I think it's longer than that now, it's probably six. And this is now my backup just because of what I'm using now. But this stick held up and I was scared when I got it that it would last about as long as the DT1 did. And I was really happy that it didn't. It lasted much longer and it still feels like it is brand new. There's the curve, which again is too much curve for me, but I didn't have all the options when I grabbed it because I was a Warrior VIP. Again, thanks to Thinking Jack on Proclaimed and thanks to Warrior for selecting me as a VIP. But anyways, so that is like the basis of this. I'm not a fan of the grip as a grip, but it's not that grippy, so it's not horrible. But I do like the textured bits on it. You can hopefully see right here, the textured bits right there. I do like that, but I'm not a fan of the gloss grip. But again, it's not that sticky, so it's not that bad. Um, low kick stick, the 100 on here feels like an 80 in other brands. So like the Sherwood and the CCM and Easton. Um, that's about it. I don't baby this thing, I take slap shots with it. I poke people or poke pucks with it, I don't slash. Uh, I block shots with it and it's held up fantastically. No complaints at all. Um, it's just, when we get to the next one, you'll understand why I like the next one that much better or a little better. Which is the CCM trigger, the rib core trigger. Now, I don't think this is showing up. I think this is a beautiful stick. I love the green texture to it and the accents. I love the exposed carbon all throughout. I just really, really like the detail. Unfortunately, I didn't have the matching color tacky mac, so we didn't get that. So this one is an 85 Flex Crosby P29. I used uh, a 20 P28, no, I used the Crosby, sorry. And, but it was a 75 Flex at Summer Jam for Matsuot Hockey and I felt like when I was stick handling, I could feel the stick bending on me. It was, it felt awful, but the shots were very good. It was just too whippy. Now I do wish the blade was more exposed because it's just basically black. Um, so I do wish that I had a little better detailing there or lack of paint like the rest of the stick does. Uh, but anyways, um, so these are cool sticks or I think they are because they have that, they go inwards on here, which used to have ribs and now it's just inwards. And the whole point of the ASY is that the backside is different construction than the front side because you load the stick on one side and not the other. So that's an interesting feature there. So right, let's look at the, the curve really quickly. So there you go. Again, I'd prefer a heel, but my options were kind of limited. Now, it's a few things. I love the graphics on this, especially the back part is like one of my favorite parts because I can actually get this focus because it has that big white, if I go like this, it has that big white detailing on the bottom. I think it's a very CCM. So you kind of, on a, like they, they kind of have this on their sticks, but in different, just in different ways. I think that looks fantastic. Uh, the graphics on the stick are great, but the, the best part about the stick is the shooting by far. Uh, my shots with this stick are harder, quicker releasing, and then the, any stick I've used before. So basically the QRL, because the QRL was the previous best one. And it's held up really good so far. My one problem is the blade is too soft. Um, the toe is stiffer than the, most of the blade, and I'm a fan of pinier stiff blades. For shooting, but for stick handling too, I, for me, I like the feedback of the pingy pinginess and not the mute, more muted feel. Um, but for passing, I think this one is better because pucks don't bounce off your stick as much. 
and this I know it's soft hands, but sometimes you just have to throw your stick out there. And I find with this one, it doesn't bounce off the blade as much as it did on the QRL or the Sherwood because of that slightly softer blade. So it's a give or take of what you like. So if I ideally if I could, I'd have that QRL blade on this stick. And I'd be I'd have the best stick I've ever used. But anyways, that's it. About this stick really quick. Um this was given to me through Ice Warehouse. I did some a bit of I reviewed this stick for them. I don't know if that's going up or what's happening with that, but that's where I got this from. It's why you don't see a video on it, because it was done for them. Um, so that's about it, just in case you're wondering. But I, I, I think you could tell from my opinions of it so far, or just talking about it here, like what I think of it. Um, so yeah, very good stick, really happy with it, and currently it's my favorite. Uh, right now, this one and the Warrior are my two go-tos. So the QR, sorry, the trigger is my like my main stick and the qrl is the backup well my girlfriend actually took the wrecker from me and is using that as her stick now um she or she's using it as her backup because she didn't have another stick that was the right size and she doesn't like it that's non-grip but anyways that's not really important but anyways that's it for what's in the bag uh next time i get a new stick i'll do another unboxing and all that about it and i'll do a review wherever i get but that's about it for that. Um, check out, again, sorry, check in the description, subscribe to my channel, look for, the description will have my Twitter account, my Instagram account, follow me on there. Just helps me grab more sticks, not that I need them, but I can review them and give my opinions on them, which might help your purchase in the future and could save you money from bad sticks, hint, hint. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, I hope you liked it. Uh, the next part will be for the equipment, so we'll see what happens there. I'm not sure when that's going to happen. Don't oh, slide. I'm not sure when that's going to happen, but anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, take it easy, and yeah, that's it.